10 reasons why I fight these witches. Yes, 10 reasons why I fight forces of darkness. It ain't got to be witches. They're going to be fighting demons. They're going to be fighting this unclean spirit. Fighting darkness of this world. Spiritual wickedness in high places. Guys, we, we rest like in flesh and blood. 10 reasons why I fight demons. 10 reasons why I fight the power of darkness. And 10 reasons why I fight witches. Hey, glory to God. Number one, I've been sold into witchcraft as a child. Yes, I was sold into witchcraft as a child. Number two, I see the channel to those that spoil that are ex with portions and spells. Yes, I see the channel of those that been spoiled through X with portions and spells. Number three, I threw the power that God had given me from birth to battle those creatures in your dream with you. Email me, Rome International 24-7 at gmail.com and I will enter through the demonic scene to break the spell that been pronounced upon your life. Email me, my friend, Rome, holiday, R O A M, international 247 at gmail.com. Number four, it had been chant, but it called, I call the Holy Spirit to battle to break the yoke of the bad spells. Hey, Lord, to guess, it had been chant, but I call upon the Holy Ghost power to break the yoke of those bad spells, you can call it witchcraft. Number fifth reason, I call on the name of Jesus Christ to break those activity upon your life. Number six, if you are a Christian, these things should not come near you. Yes, I say if you are a Christian and those doors have been closed upon your life, these activity should not come near you. They can come but they don't encounter. They can come because the Bible said a weapon of our warfare. The Bible say no weapon that form shall prosper. Hey, glory to God. Number seven, they have created a nest, but through the power invested in me by the spirit of God, it is broken. It is broken through you if you got the power, the power, the dunamis power. That's why he told the disciples, don't leave Jerusalem until you are endowed with power. Power, glory to God, break every activity, every demonic forces that have been summoned upon you. I'm talking about spiritual warfare. Hey, glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Number eight reason, these are the cult you are dealing with within the body of Christ. We call them out now. Yes, we call them out now. That's why he told, Jesus Christ told the man, what is your name? He said, we are legion because we are many. If you can't identify the demons, they won't leave. He told a woman, glory to God, that damsel, she was a slave to the spirit of, of indemnation. And he told the demons, the spirit of indemnation to leave. And the Bible say, immediately it leaved. In Galatians, the third chapter, Paul said, who have bewitched you that you should not obey the truth? You got to know those spirits, name and activity to come out. Hallelujah. Number ninth reason, it should, it should be cast out as a sound. It shows its head and tail or behavior. Yes, it should be cast out as soon it shows its head and tail or behavior. Its personalities. If you see the personality, you will see the name. And once you see the name, it's time to cast out it immediately. Not tomorrow, not next week, not ye next year. But the Bible say immediately the spirit left that girl with the spirit of divination. Hey, glory to God. Immediately, the same hour. I say the same hour. The Bible say the same hour the spirit of divination left. 
Hey, glory to God. That's why I tell people, my friend, there's power in the name of Jesus. There ain't no power, glory to God, in no water. There ain't no power in no incense. There ain't no power, glory to God, in what you are doing. But there's power in the name of Jesus. He said, whatever you do, do all in the name of Jesus. And there must, there must be a reason why Jesus Christ told his disciples, my friend. But listen to what the Bible says. The Bible says, my friend, hey, glory to God. And it say in Acts, the 16th chapter, verse 16, hey, glory to God. Listen to what the Bible says. Uh, verse 18, and this did she many days. But Paul, being grieved, turned and said to the Spirit, turn to the Spirit. Hallelujah. I command thee in the name of Jesus Christ to come out of her. And he came out the same hour. Yes, he came out. Let me read again, my friend, because I want all the people that are bound with spirit to come out. And the sound of my voice. And the Bible said, and this did she many days, but Paul grieved. And turn and say to the Spirit, I command thee in the name of Jesus Christ to come out of her. And he came out the same hour. That's why the demons don't want you to call his name. That's why demons don't want to identify who he is. Jesus Christ is the power, Lord to God, to break every yoke. Hallelujah. That's why people don't believe in Jesus. Yes, this is the evidence. The evidence is in Acts 16, 18. And the Bible is telling me for the third time, and this did she many days. What she was doing? She was tormenting Paul. She was following Paul. She was telling Paul, he go to God. But Paul, what? But Paul being grieved. Hallelujah. If you are grieving your spirit, about what you're going through. Go to God. You ought to do what Paul did. What Paul did, preacher? He turned and said to the spirit. He turned and said to the spirit. What kind of spirit you're dealing with? You ought to tell the spirit, my friend. Hallelujah. Paul said, and Paul, I command thee in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. To come out of her the same hour. There's power in the name of Jesus. There's power. There's deliverance. Hallelujah. And it goes through chapter 19 of Acts, the 19th chapter. And the Bible says, And there when, when seven sons of Siva, Jews, the chief of the priests, which did so, and the spirit, evil spirit, answered and said, What? The evil spirit answered answered and say Paul Jesus I know and Paul I know but who are you who are ye I'm talking about power is the name of Jesus don't use no other name there's no other name on the heaven given among men whereby we must be saved and the Bible say and the evil spirit answered and said Jesus I know I'm reading go to the Acts 19 chapter, verse number 15. And the evil spirit answered and said, Jesus, I know. So evil spirit, they know Jesus. Hallelujah. And Paul, I know. But who are ye? So demons don't know. If demons don't know you, they're going to attack you. If demons don't know you, they're going to torment you. If demons don't know you, they're going to stay in you because you are not known by them. Demons know who I am. They know I'm Theophilus. They know. You know why they know? Because I'm living the life of being a Christian. I'm not just a church goer. I'm a Christian. I don't, I don't fake it to make it. I don't eat my son and live in contrary to what I believe from the Bible. And the Bible say, and the evil spirit answered, Jesus I know, and Paul I know, but who are ye? You are known. Demons know who you are. Demons know that you're sleeping with every Dick, Tom, and Harry. Demons know that you're living a contrary lifestyle. Demons know that you ain't real. Demons know that you are homosexual. You are lesbian. Demons know that you're looking at, at pornography. How you are masturbating. Demons know. 
They know I'm living a righteous life before God by prayer, by fasting, and by being a person of God. So the Bible say, and the evil spirit answered and said, Jesus I know, and Paul I know, but who are ye? And the man in whom the evil spirit leaped on them, leaped on them and overcame them and prevailed them so that they fled out the house naked and wounded. So does demon know you? Do they know you as a real person or they know you as a counterfeit? They know you as an ain't, but don't know you as a saint. You got to be known by a saint. You ain't no ain't. You are a saint. You are a believer, not an unbeliever. You can't be sexing. You can't be masturbating. You can't be watching pornography and expect the demons to respect you. Those, sin, those seven sons of Siva, they went in there. And a demon say, the evil spirit say, Jesus I know, and Paul I know, but who are you? And the Bible say, the spirit, the evil spirit was leaped on them and prevailed them, and prevailed them and overpowered them against them, so that they fled out the house naked, and they was wounded, they was hurt by the evil spirit. They whipped them. Ah, glory to God. What I'm saying to you, my friend. Don't play with demons. Don't play with the power of darkness. And that's why people don't know Jesus. Because they know they know Jesus Christ is your deliverance. Yes, Jesus Christ is your deliverance. And demons don't want you to know the deliverance of the activity. What Jesus Christ brings. Jesus Christ brings deliverance. That's why he don't want you to live right. That's why he don't talk. He don't want you to talk. He wants you to be a church goer only. He wants you to be a Sunday or Saturday only. He don't want you to be full time for Jesus. He wants you to be part time lover. Because part time lover don't have no power. But full time lovers have power to make the devil behave. Let the devil behave. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And number 10th reason. And I'm gone. I'm telling you, there is deliverance in the name of Jesus. You ain't going to use no ritual. You ain't going to use no Hail Mary full of grace. The Lord be with me. No, no, no Hail Marys. No candles. No holy water. No chanting. No incense. No candle burning. But the power of the Holy Ghost, the power of the name of Jesus brings deliverance. Number 10th reason. It's a culture thing, which is not of God. Don't use your forefather, hallelujah, teaching. Deliverance is not a black thing because we call it racism. So what? It is witchcraft and demonic influences. That's who we're dealing with. We're dealing with witches. And we're dealing with evil spirits, unclean spirits. They are real. Yes, let me tell you, let me be the first to tell you that demons are real. Let me be the first to tell you that demons' activity is real. And if you're not living a life, if you're letting everybody get up in your vagina, if you use your penis to, to demons, don't they know who you are. They know if you are real. They know that, glory to God, if you lay your body and you let people go ejaculate inside of you, demons know who you are. They don't respect you. Hallelujah. If you read a pornography book, if you masturbate in the bathroom or the bedroom, got toys on, the, on, your, on your bed and you do it to yourself, demons know who you are. That's why you got to be holy. He say, I present your body as a living sacrifice. Holy. God want us to be holy. Because if you're not holy, those demons don't respect you. Are you trying to use the name of Jesus? The demon going to laugh at you. They're going to say, who are you? I knew what you did last night. You got to be real. You can't be killing a fit on Sunday. And when you're going through problem, you call on the name of Jesus Christ. When you're on cloud nine, you don't know who Jesus is. My friend, this thing is real. It is real. And don't let nobody fool you 
about the power that invested in you. You got to be holy. You got to live a life of obedience. The Bible says obedience is better than sacrifice. Obedience is better than going to church. A beat is better than playing the instrument. A beat is better than singing. A beat is better than giving tithes and offering. A beat is better than carrying a Bible. Obedience. Are you a bit? Are you obedient to the will of God? Are you obedient to the word of God? Are you obedience? You gotta be obedient. You gotta be obey. You gotta obey the standard of God. Obey. Obey. That's why Saul, that's why Saul got killed. Saul got massacred. Saul, and the reason why he was the first king of Israel, and the Bible told him that, glory to God, that obedience is better than sacrifice. How glory to God. Hallelujah. Samuel told him, Samuel told him, look here, Saul. Saul, Saul, the reason why God has departed from you because you've been playing church. Uh, those that understand my voice, the reason why things ain't going your way. I'm going to tell you the reason why things ain't going your way. Because you you ain't living nothing. You just a, a inner out saint. Cause listen to what the Bible say. The Bible say in 1 Samuel, the 15th chapter, verse 22. Hey, glory to God. I want you to hear me. I want you to help you. I want to help to break the yoke in your life. You reason why your prayer not being answered. You reason why you are up and down. You're like a yo-yo, up and down, up and down. You're like, your prayer like a bouncing ball, up and down, up and down, and not being answered. Why is not being answered, preacher? Because of this. Because the Bible say, look at the Bible say, glory to God. Listen what the Bible say. Not this what I say, but listen what the Bible say. The Bible say in 1 Samuel 15, 22, and Samuel say, have the Lord have great delight in burnt offering. Hallelujah. It's good to quote the scripture, but are you living the scripture? And sacrifice. He said, Samuel said unto him, As the Lord have great del delight in burnt offering and sacrifice, as in obeying the voice of the Lord. The voice of the of the Lord is the Bible. The voice of the of God is the Bible. God not gonna speak to you in an audible voice. God gonna speak to you through his word, the Bible, the Holy Scripture. Behold. To obey is better than sacrifice, and to hearken than the ram, the fat of the ram. I'm telling you, the secret of getting your yoke and your prayer answered is what? And Samuel said, have the Lord a great dev a delight in, in offering and sacrifice as obeying the voice of the Lord. Obeying, behold, to obey is better than sacrifice and to hearken than the fat of the lamb ram listen verse 23 verse 23 say for rebellion is at a sin of witchcraft rebellion is at the sin of witchcraft and stubbornness as iniquity of idolatry because thou has rejected the word of the lord each time you, you have sex with somebody, each time you, you watch pornography, each time you disobey God, my friend, the Bible say, because thou has rejected the word of the Lord, he has also rejected thee from being king. King and queen. Why? Because you disobey God. King and queen. God reject you from being king and queen because you reject God. My friend, it's time to be holy. Yes, it's time to be holy. Yes, it's time to be holy. Not to be unholy, but to be holy. Hey, glory to God. The only way demon will respect you, you got to live right. Hey, glory to God.